Hi, this is Boyden Stu. What I'm showing you here today is the new batteries I've used for the last thousand miles on my six-day bike. These are four multi-star 5200 milliamp -hour, hour batteries, four of them, each of which has six cells of LiPo cells, and two on this side are in series, and there's another pair on the other side, so we have 48 volts on this bike. As I said, I've put a thousand miles on these batteries, and I'm using them in a very limited range. I charge them to four volts per cell. I put about 12, 13 miles on them, and they've never gone below 3.8 volts per cell. Very, very stable system. I'm using a constant voltage of 48 volts to charge them. Notice there's a wing nut. That wing nut is what connects the two positive leads of the two sides uh, and uh, what it allows is by undoing that uh, wing nut I can separate the two series streams and I those dangling connectors allows me to check individual cell uh, voltage for balancing. So far everything has been in balance. Well, as I step up and go away a little bit and show you the profile, you can see that the bike is about 8 to 10 inches longer than a regular bike. It's very comfortable. And walk around it a little bit, you'll notice I've got a, uh, a horn. And that horn is mounted over here. Here's the horn. Pretty darn loud. It's a 48 volt horn, by the way. Right off the main 48 volts. And uh, here's my flashing front blinker for safety. Uh, nice, comfortable seat and backrest. And this is the other side of the, the arrangement. Get in here a little bit tighter. You can see there's the upper cross red wire for the positive, and then the series connection of these two sides, and this is the common ground where my finger is. This is the common ground. This is the two, these two in series go here, and this is the output uh, of the 48 volts. Uh, see what else I could show you? There's a controller mounted there, and there's the 1000 watt rear motor. Uh, there's an 11 tooth gear for high speed pedaling. I could pedal at about 20. Uh, I could go 20 miles at about 20 miles an hour so we could call this a 2020 bike. And uh, this is my torque assistant to prevent the aluminum uh, axle mounting uh, from breaking out, the torque would be in that direction, and uh, I just have a couple of table cable ties, zip ties, to uh, hold it. May not be perfect, but it works. It's worked for a thousand miles. So there we have it. A, a dream. It's called a dream. Day six bike. I bought it a at a, a pawn shop for 200 bucks. The batteries I got luckily on sale for $27 each. So I've got 10.4 um, amp, amp hours at 48 volts. I think it's a heck of a good situation. Notice there are no gear shifters on this bike. None on the left, none on the right. 
what I do if I want to pedal without the motor I would just hand shift the chain to the smaller chain uh, smaller gear well that's it for today I hope I've made everything clear and uh, this is Boynton Stew